What is a competitive advantage? A competitive advantage is an attribute that enables a company to outperform its competitors. This allows a company to achieve superior margins as compared to the competition and also generate value for the company and its shareholders. Uh, if any advantage is easily copied or imitated, it is not considered a competitive advantage. Uh, some of the common examples of competitive advantages could be uh, human resource, organization culture, um, highly skilled labor, access to natural resources, uh, unique geographical location, brand image recognition. So all of these can be a competitive advantage for a particular company. But the question here is, uh, what are the strategies for competitive advantage? A company can gain competitive advantage by three strategies, which are known as generic strategies. Uh, they can be applied to products or services in all industries and to all organizations of all sizes. Um, these are called the generic strategies by Porter. Uh, the first one is cost leadership, which means no frills. The second is differentiations, creating a uniquely desirable products and services. And the third one is focus, offering a specialized service in a niche market. Uh, Porter then subdivided the, the focus strategy into two parts, which is cost focus and differentiation focus. Uh, let's start with the cost leadership strategy. Um, since these are the ways of gaining competitive advantage, one way of achieving competitive advantage is through cost leadership. You can achieve cost leadership by number one, increasing profits by reducing the cost while charging industry average prices, or you can increase the market share by charging lower prices while still making a reasonable profit. Um, because you have reduced costs, you'll have more sales. You can pass on the cost advantage to the consumers, which will increase your market share. So these are the two ways uh, of achieving a cost leadership strategy. Remember that cost leadership is about minimizing the cost to the organization. It has nothing to do with the cost or price paid by the customer. That is a separate issue. Uh, so cost leadership, it involves being the leader in terms of cost in your industry or your market. But simply being among the lowest cost producer is not good enough as you will leave yourself wide open to attack by other low cost producers who can easily undercut your prices and therefore block your attempts to increase market share. So cost leadership is not for everyone. You therefore need to be confident that you can achieve and maintain the number one position before choosing the cost leadership route. Companies that are successful in achieving cost leadership, they usually have access to capital that is needed to invest in technology that will bring the cost down. Um, you need to have efficient logistics. You need to have a low cost base in terms of labor, material, facilities, and a way of sustainably cutting costs below those of your competitors. But the greatest risk in per pursuing a cost leadership strategy is that these sources of cost reduction are not unique to you and that other co companies can copy your cost reduction. This is why it's important to continuously find ways of reducing cost. One successful way of doing is, uh, is by adopting Kaizen, which is a philosophy of continuous improvement. Then comes the differentiation strategy. Differentiation involves making your products or services different from and more attractive than those of your competitors. How you do this depends on the exact nature of your industry and uh, of the products and services themselves, but it will typically involve um, offering features, functionality, durability, service, support, uh, and your brand, brand image that your customer value. To make a success of the differentiated strategy, organizations in need good research, development, and innovation practices. They, need, uh, they must have the ability to deliver high quality products or services. Uh, they must have effective sales and marketing so that um, the market understands the benefits offered by the differentiated offerings. 
large organizations pursuing a differentiated strategy they need to stay agile because uh, they must always be working on new product development they must also be aware of the product life cycle stages otherwise uh, they risk attack on several fronts by competitors pursuing focused differentiation strategies in different market segments companies that use focused strategies they concentrate on particular niche markets uh, they understand the dynamics of that market and the unique needs within it so they develop either low cost or differentiation within that niche market because they serve customers in their market uniquely well they tend to build strong brand loyalty amongst their customers um, this is why it makes their competitors uh, their offering superior to their competitors because it is less attractive for competitors to enter that particular niche because brand loyalties are already established there as with the broad market strategies it is essential to decide whether you will pursue cost leadership or differentiation uh, once you have selected a focus strategy your main approach is not mainly enough on its own you need to use either cost focus or differentiation focus the key to making a success of generic focus strategy is to ensure that you are adding something extra as a result of serving that particular niche segment market Uh, that something extra could be um, reduce cost, perhaps through your knowledge of that specialized customer or spe- your network of suppliers, or you can increase differentiation through your deep understanding of the consumer needs. The terms cost focus and differentiation focus can be a little confusing, as they could be interpreted as a meaning uh, a focus on cost or a focus on differentiation. but remember that cost focus means emphasizing cost minimization within a focused market and differentiation focus means pursuing strategic differentiation within a focused market so these are the three generic strategies that companies use to create their competitive advantage cost leadership it corresponds to the no frills experience like the low cost airline carriers who choose the cost leadership strategy to achieve their competitive advantage differentiation on the other hand corresponds to the luxury providers like ferrari armani prada these companies provide uniquely desirable products or services to their customers and focus is about market segmentation by offering a specialized product or service in a niche market and remember these can be divided into cost focus or differentiation focus